Hi, I'm Lorraine Prokopiu and I just want to talk through some of the features, safety features particularly, and getting on and off the ladder barrel because it can be a little bit daunting sometimes when you see this big piece of equipment in the studio and trying to work out how to get your body in the positions that you can see in the pictures in your manual. So first off, I'm going to come down and just make sure the foot plates are in place. So on this particular ladder barrel, I've got these foot plates and platform to place in and I just push them and they just uh, fix kind of against the edge of these uprights. You may find your particular ladder just has another rung a little further down for you to put your feet against. If you don't have this sort of platform, you could always use a platform extender from your reformer or maybe just some blocks down in this well down here. Then the barrel itself slides up and down on these runners and in this particular one I can just lift these levers and slide it forwards or back depending on length of lever and how far away you want your ladder and barrel. And then I'm just going to fix these into place. Now in a lot of uh, ladder barrels you'll have star knobs, four star knobs that you'll have to undo and then redo. So you've got usually two on this end and then two on the other end right underneath the um, barrel. So coming up, the, the reason we want to make sure that's nice and secure because a lot of the exercises are actually seated on the barrel or on the sort of front of the apex of the barrel and the feet are onto the ladder. So when you're pushing back, you want to make sure that's not going to slide. The other thing that we'll often do is actually come prone over the barrel and there's no easy way to do this. It's a little jump to come on and reach and then you're ready for your swan dives or whatever exercise you're going to do there. And again, it's just kind of a slide off. Sitting to say face sideways on, I usually do a little bit of a side saddle and then a little jump to be onto like a horseback thing. And then if I want to do some side bend, I'll come back over to this side saddle option, slide down and reach, ready to do some side lying work here. And then coming off will be the same thing, just a little slide and then a release.